Hey, Chris Jenkins with Charlotte Vibe. And NFL free agency kicked off about two weeks ago now, and there's been so much stuff that the Carolina Panthers have been doing, losing players, gaining players. I recently had the chance to catch up with James Bradbury and hear from him directly about his experience of why he is no longer with the Carolina Panthers and he's with the New York Giants. So be sure to listen. It's just the audio clip. There's no video because James and I, social distancing, the pandemic, couldn't be in the same place. So I hope you enjoyed, but I also want to invite you to join me on Instagram. Uh, if you're on Instagram every day, at least Monday through Friday, I do a video about an hour long where I invite people to appear on the video and chat whether you want to talk about football, whether you want to talk about the news, whether you just want to say hello because I haven't met you. So something I've been doing just to have some social interaction with everybody and, and meet everyone during this time. So again, link for my Instagram live is going to be below in the comments. But here it is. Check out the video with me and James. It's Chris Jenkins with Charlotte Vibe, and I have the luxury of having my longtime pal that I'm, you know, I'm going to try not to cry during this interview, but <laughs> <laughs> I got James Bradbury. Unfortunately, I have to say former Carolina Panther, current New York Jet, but you know, like I said, I'm 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 glad that you're still continuing to play and get the contract you deserve. How you doing, sir? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing pretty well. And you know, first question is actually not a football question, man. We have a pandemic going on. How are you coping with life right now? Um, for me, it's pretty cool. You know, it's typically my off season. I'll, I get up, fix me some breakfast, play video games. Well, I can't work out now, but uh, before then, I was able to work out. Um, so it was typical for me and. But um, I understand people out there suffering and whatnot, so I also send my prayers and my thoughts out to the people that are affected by the coronavirus, and I just advise everyone to stay safe had and make sure to... you wash your hands. <laughs> had you had to go through too much isolation down there yet? Have I? Yeah, I don't know where um, you are. Not too much, man. Honestly, in off season, I'm usually either by myself with my family or with my friends, so it's not too much isolation going on. You know, I'm still able to hang out with my friends or whatnot. Okay. All right. So let's get into some good stuff as much as you can. You know, I want to talk about the Carolina Panthers. If you can, to what extent can you say what happened to you being in Carolina? Uh, um, I just, I guess my number was too high. And of course they're rebuilding over there. And I guess they felt like um, they didn't want to spend that much money on, on a corn when they were building around the whole defense and offense. So I guess it was just too much money for them and they had other holes they needed to fill. Do you feel like there's anything that could have kept you in Carolina? You feel like it, the biggest thing was the the, the numbers. Uh, for me, the biggest thing was the numbers. You know, of course, I love Charlotte. I love playing for uh, the Carolina Panthers these past four years, and of course, they blessed me my first opportunity. Um, but you know, I think I feel like I've worked hard these past four years, and you asked me to go against Mike Evans, Michael Thomas, Julio on a consistent basis, and of course, you you know their salaries. Um, so I feel like I should get what I what I deserve, and the, the numbers was a big thing for me because I've uh, I've done I've done whatever you asked me to do. Right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Now, still, you know, fresh off leaving Carolina again, about to be a New York Giant. What what are some of your fondest memories, man, of, of being with this team? What, what was it? Four years, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, tell tell me some some memories that that come out to mind when you first think about your career here in Carolina. I mean, it was just the people in the locker room, you know. They it made it enjoyable to come up there and play football. You know, it, it didn't seem like work when I was up there hanging out with Luke, uh, Shaq, Byrne, you know, Cap, TD, all the guys that's been through the locker room. They always made it fun. You know, just being in the locker room, that's some of the – those are the funniest stories, man. This year, Trey was in there rapping. He would rap every <laughs> – he was rapping every day over instrumentals. <laughs> every, every single day. But – got us ready for practice and uh you know we would come in there we'd be sad towards, especially towards the end of the season because we were losing he'd come in there rapping still still being a trade and we would just be in there laughing yeah just having a ball. you know one of my my best memories was the i believe your only two interception game was just this past season mm -hmm. and 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 london Yes, sir. Yeah, that that was that was special to me. Hey, there's been a lot of changes this offseason. As as a player, was was there a most shocking thing that has happened with this Panthers team uh, since the season ended up to date for you? Uh, one day that I was shocked. Uh, I would say the first uh, one of my rookie year when Benet got got uh, cut. Mm -hmm. Man, that was a, that was like a huge shock. Like, that was my that was my first time where. Like, I realized, you know, this is a business. 
You know, mm-hmm. it could, any day could be your last. And then I, another one was when, um, I guess you say when TD, when TD left. Okay. Yeah. And and he's now reunited back with Rivera up in, in Washington. Oh, uh, yeah. I know they're going to have fun up there. <laughs> they're going to turn that around, though. Yeah, yeah, they, 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 that's a good possibility up there. And, hey, you're going to be reunited as well with uh, general manager and Dave Gettleman. So what was the thing that led you to land in, in New York with the Giants? Um, You know, just they gave me an opportunity. You know, um, of course, New York is New York. Uh, no one wants to pass up on New York. And, uh, you know, they came with a number that, that we both mutually agreed on. And I think that was the one thing that set them apart. And... Of course, I, I have. I'm familiar with Gettleman. Mm-hmm. I know the type of organization he's building over there. You also got Mayo over there, uh, Rashawn Gordon. You know, you got some play, players that I played with, so I'm familiar with the team as well. So it's just, I think I feel like I'd be more comfortable over there as well. Oh yeah, I do remember Mayo. Mayo just is going over there. Mayo just also had a, a newborn as well. Yeah, Mayo's over there. Mm-hmm. RG, it's, a, it's somebody else over there. I can't. Oh, I, it's a boy. It's a, uh, one of my homeboys from back home, Chad Slade. He's from Birmingham. He's over there as well. Okay. Now, now speaking of Birmingham, you know, you're a quiet, humble guy, small town. You go into one of the biggest cities in America. So let me ask you an off the field question as far as New York. Is there anything that you're looking forward to in terms of exploring or being in New York City? Um, I really want to go to a basketball game at Madison Square Garden. Okay. You've you never know, been to a game in New York at the Garden? I have. I've never been to a basketball game in New York, and I, I unfortunately I missed out on the games uh, in Charlotte. I kept postponing it and procrastinating when I should have just went. But uh, that's the one thing I'm looking forward to. Okay, and let's see again going on that humble guy, James Bradbury, New York. Everything's expensive. Now you got a few more dollars in your pocket. You think you're going to just go for the minimalist living, little studio apartment or something? You, you might get actually a little a bell and a whistle. <laughs> <laughs> So it, it's crazy because that was like the first thing I thought about when, uh, when of course, when I picked New York was the was the expenses. Uh, but what they actually so I feel like I won't. I mean, of course, I'm gonna spend a lot of money, but it won't be as much as I would if I was in New York. I'm, I'm sorry, I had a, a phone issue. Give me just a second. My brother called me. I forgot to mute my phone. But if you could, could Jay, just the very beginning when I asked you about that apartment looking or house hunting in New York, what did you say? Uh, yeah, I was saying, uh, so they're actually, they're actually in New Jersey, so I'll be staying in New Jersey, and it's uh, cheaper than being in New York. So, of course, I'm going to still spend money because it's up there, and it's a lot, everything's expensive up there, but it's a little bit cheaper. <laughs> still a little undecided. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know, yeah, I'm, uh, we can talk to a realtor, you know, what everything's going on, it's kind of put everything on hold. Yeah. Well, James, I tell you, I'm a, I'm a really big fan of yours. You know, I like to do these interviews with, with players because I, I like to show that, hey, I'm a fan as well with you guys. And it's great to see that you're going to continue the career, getting the contract that, you, that you're looking forward to. And I will certainly continue to follow you and support you, okay? I appreciate it. I appreciate you as well. Hey, thank you very much for your time, sir. All right, no problem. All right, so a good talk there. I always love catching up with James Bradbury, a real nice guy. I'll never forget when I first met him and I asked him about coming on to the show. I said, hey, can you commit to coming on every year? And he has. So just a really good dude. So I, I certainly support him and will continue to watch him with his career in New York. But again, I want to invite everybody to tune in to my Instagram Live. I'll do many more videos and updates there, especially during this pandemic. Again, it's a Monday through Thursday show, hour long every day. And I uh, hope you check it out. It's Chris Jenkins from Charlotte Five.